<laughs> Welcome back to that. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I wonder what that looks like when you use the Dipman glitch. I don't want to find out. Not yet. Not like this. <laughs> um, I hated this part so fucking much. Just take a first aid spray right now. Wow. Oh. Never mind. Okay. Oh, is this? Yeah. Uh, this is the part that I told you about. That I, I got stuck in a. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck in a loop. And uh, I couldn't. Why don't you? Yeah, just put that yellow orb with that. Uh, I'll do it later. Do it right now. Hey, look who wants in. <laughs> is it a paw under the door? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Don't. Whatever. Just lay in there in front of the door. I open the door, he runs off. Like he thinks it's playtime. But it ain't playtime, it's gay time. I, what else runs with play? There's like no Day? other. It's daytime. Don't make up words. You're ruining the movie magic of this by telling them what time it is. You're dating our show. I get it. Uh, dating. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Yeah. Wow. That was. That was hard to avoid. Ah! I just go on the wooden. I just went on the wooden pathway. What is this, Cubert? Oh, I guess you can try to do this. I guess two shots is good enough. Well, yeah, just take the fucking TMP then. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. That's not it. Wait and see if two shots will on the TMP will do it, or how many shots on the TMP. I'm gonna see if I'm missing any. Treasure. You do this right when a fucking barrel is coming, and you're gonna miss it now. Look like three. Yeah, three. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> that's uh, unfortunate. I hate, I hate yeah, when games do that. shit like that. Like, for, it's so stupid. It happened during Metroid Prime, and I fucking hated it. In the middle of an, of an action and stuff like this, like. Definitely shouldn't be showing goddamn cutscenes. Especially when something can hurt you. Oh, I see. Yeah, just do it again. Let's see if they're coming up. You gotta ride that elevator. That was the part that the elevator was the part that killed me. Because I got stuck on there. And I'd like when I died, I'd reload, and then I'd still have super low health because I had super low health by the time that I uh, got on the elevator. But you got to push some boxes off because it's too heavy. I oh, can't get off of it like that. I need to get to the other side and make sure I didn't leave anything. Ooh, baby, suplex is nice. Don't. Why's he got a hood on? Because. What's he trying to hide? The fact that he's a KKK member. Because, you know, KKK. How do you know that if he's hiding it? <laughs> he's not hiding it very well. That, that's why That's why all of them wear hoods. But that's how, that's like the telling feature, believe it or not. Like, that's all you have to do to figure out if somebody's in the KKK. If they're wearing, like, one of those white pointed hoods. Yeah, but. How do you know who's behind the hood? Well, you know uh, KK Game Member is behind the hood. Oh my god. Oh my god. What if I, what if I, what if, what if he's just a ghost? Hiding the fact that he's a KKK member? <laughs> <laughs> what if he, no, what if he's just a ghost? But he just, KKK ghosts. But he just happens to be... By like by some dudes in the KKK, like he doesn't, he just sees some dudes in the KKK. It's like, oh, it's a ghost party. <laughs> I'm gonna go mingle. I wanna see. I just wanna see, like a picture on Twitter, somebody takes when they're like, part of the, like some fucking member, Grand Wizard of the of the clan or some shit like that, taking a selfie with all their with all their with all their <laughs> clan mates, be like, this is the best ghost party yet. <laughs> 
they get they'd, they'd get some points for with me. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, it's these guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, these are supposed to be like a reference to the old games or something like that. The Crimsons or something? So, I don't know, something like that. They only appear in this elevator, I'm pretty sure. Don't. That guy's a Plagas, I'm pretty sure. Don't lie to me. The guy with no mask is a Plagas. Don't lie to me. Sorry. Stop. Is the Plagas dead? Yeah, I killed him. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I shot a dude out of there. <laughs> I was thinking that barrel was jammed. I, uh... I want to do that with Fallout. I want to, like, edit the, uh... stuff. I want to, like, make a rocket launcher that shoots people. Did it then. This shoots a ragdoll. Well, use the ball, my ammo. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was just taking a leisurely stroll. They should put a series of thrusters on the Wiimote to, to simulate weapon recoil. Haptic feedback, you know? Oh, yeah! I know what that means. Yeah. We're, we're all smarts here. I, um, okay. I, I really do hope you can buy a rocket launcher, though, because the fight, the actual fight with Salazar sucks. Yeah, you can buy a rocket launcher right, like, right before him, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's a merchant right there. There's a treasure, too. A treasure. You're gonna have to know you're gonna go and walk around. Well there is no around. Yeah, there is. You go go right there. And you walk you walk out. Oh my god. You're a genius. Christ. Christ on a Christmas tree. Christ on Why a Christmas tree. Why would he be on a Christmas here. tree? I don't know, there's probably ornaments of Jesus. Like nailed to a cross that you just hang on. <laughs> well, they have ones that nailed to a cross they hang on your wall. Well, that's different. That's different. Okay, we're back. We had a bit of a. So how's it? How's it got to feel to know that your breakout hit, your success as mu as a musician, came from Shrek. It didn't come from Shrek. All Star was a thing before Shrek. All Star was not a popular thing before Shrek. I'm pretty sure Smash Mouth was a popular thing before Shrek. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure. I remember hearing fucking Walking on the Sun when I was in preschool. Was Norman, you're not a dog. <laughs> what dog-like <laughs> thing did he do? That... Scratching himself with his foot? That's a, that's a dog thing. You know, a lot of quadrupeds do that. I mean, I do it, but... <laughs> I, I legit scratch myself with my foot sometimes. I mean, I but not my head, I scratch my arm or something. Like, I'll just be laying down and I just go like... I don't know why. I don't know why. Oh, look at all this ammo. He got a nice little assortment of ammo. What if these are like his wares? You and just, you just steal them? Just like, hey, thanks. Oh, stranger, these are, oh, these are mine. <laughs> got some rare. What are you, boy? Hey, Red Nine. I think I might get the He's bonus. Stranger. <laughs> no, I don't have the bonus one yet. Do you, do you have to buy it? They like. After I upgrade all of it, I'll get like a bonus upgrade. And I'm I think sure that happens. On, I, ha I think that happens on the island. Maybe. What do you just buy that it? fucking rocket launcher? I'll buy the fuck out of it. Stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. That I think that's the thing that I was talking about. Where I thought he said like a. a 
Ugh, that'll work. It'll work. I know, but I, I can't, like, just put it there. Because there's stuff in the way. I gotta move them. Well, since there's more than one object in the way. Um, he has a different line for the Magnum and the Red Nine as well. <laughs> well, like, I thought he said something like when you sell him something, but I think I'm, I was thinking of him when he, when he, uh, buys something. But yeah, you can just beat this boss in one hit with a rocket launcher. Yeah. That's the way it works. Well, I'm going to reload this. Just to take up more time. Oh, uh, we're only at 12 minutes. And then I'll save. Let's just equip the rocket launcher. Don't tell me what to do. Okay. Because in the cutscene, he fires his weapon once. And if you have the rocket launcher equipped, he wastes that ammo. Imagine if that was a thing. That would be pretty shitty. No rocket launcher there. Yeah. You so said you've never actually actually fought this boss. No, I've never fought him. I did. My first time, so. Ah, you it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna just use the rocket launcher thing from now on if I ever play it again. Hey Salazar, why don't you introduce me to Mr. Tall, Dark, and Handsome over there? See the He had the other the the left hand guy next to him. I think it's time him. I paid him. my hmm? respects to him. I think he eats him. No, this guy eats him. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is go, 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 um, go, and go, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, he eats him too. I told you. I thought you were saying that like, left hand eats Salazar. No. Oh God, it's like the first boss in Twilight Princess. Baba. What a dumb looking boss. I feel like I have to activate him, him being damaged first. I think you have to have Salazar in view first. Or something like that. Probably. So I'm gonna go back to my red nine and see. Yeah, just shoot the eye. Yeah, you have to shoot him. Is he already out when it starts? I can't remember. Must. If he is, I'll do it. After this, be one less to if he doesn't, I'll just reload the safe. Or maybe I'll just fight him. I wouldn't. No, he's not out. Okay, yeah, just shoot the eyeball. That is a lot of puke fluids. Yeah, now rocket land. Okay, did you see how big he was? Yeah. He looks so much bigger than he usually is. Because the, uh... There we go. Boss beaten. Alright! Well! Video game! I'm pretty sure that works on, like, every boss. Just use a rocket launcher on him? Yeah. Probably just made the damage threshold way too high. Probably. I mean, you're paying like 30000 just to beat a boss, so I guess it kind of... I guess it kind of e evens out. Oh. It's still there. The little... He just drops the whole weapon. You can't buy rocket launcher ammo. You have to buy a whole one. Strike ninja. Come on! Eh. Boy, I eh. sure like collecting things the game. Yeah, it's fun. Listen. If you if you ever played the game, you would understand. Why are you making the noises that Trough and Scoff makes in Donkey Kong 64? Norman got freaked out by that. He's... <laughs> He was wondering what the fuck was going on. Hey. Don't reply. <laughs> I make that noise whenever he does something bad. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's going. He, he don't know. He don't. He don't. He don't know what's happening. Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey Norman. Hey buddy. Oh. Okay. 
he's he's looking for affection now because he thinks he did something wrong. Hey, he's he's, he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have this dog that would uh, get really submissive if you took a certain tone with her. Like they kind of like you, bad dog. You know you're not supposed to do that, and she like lower her head. But you could also be like, good dog. I love you so much, and then she'd do it anyway because of your tone. Um, that's the thing. Like, uh, I'll just call my dog an idiot, but just say it really nice. Yeah. Like, oh my god, you're such an idiot. You're such a stupid fucking little retard. I like <laughs> <laughs> just. Oh, no. oh god, there's a snake. <laughs> <laughs> fucking motherfucking snakes in these motherfucking barrels. <laughs> Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. Dude, you know what's weird? What? The fact that this episode's over? Yes. 